everybody and thank you again for joining me for Hidden Wood Bushcraft. Thank you especially to all of you that have already subscribed to the channel. That support really does mean a lot. Thank you. Big thumbs up from me. Okay, so today's plan. I'm going to start cutting wood so I can finally make my fire pit. I'm thinking fire pit first, then a wood stores. Got to have something to cook on, other than my other little stoves and that. So let's get started. being watched. Well that was pretty impressive seeing those deers. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful creatures. I'm glad I managed to catch the camera in time and catch them for you. But yeah, they've wandered off now. But uh, whether it be today or not, I guess we're going to be seeing them again. Excuse the sweat on my brow, only it's quite humid and it's hard work, but it's worth it. Right guys, so I've been quite busy. Problem is, if I stop to record everything, it's just going to take forever. So, what I've done is that, most of that is gone now, it's all been chopped up apart from the big bits. Good girl. Here we go, Holly. Holly, Holly. Of course, they've been helping me chew lots of wood. And I've started to make this as well a lot better than the one it was. 
so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to achieve. Right, I'm not sure if you'll remember this from my first video, exploring new woodland, but do you remember, I thought, right, this is a perfect space, but there's a big problem, and that was the barbed wire. Well, I've actually got that sorted out. So, no more barbed wire in this place. I mean, it was just over there anyway, where the deer were. So, it's good that that's come down. And as you can see, right back there are a couple of down trees, which I will be chopping up to use for the rest of my fire pit. That's nice and thick for it, that's good. It's been done a little while, but the wood isn't rotten. Oh, sorry about that, she's going to wee. So, no rest for the wicked. I'm going to crack on, get this sword up. It's only about 150 feet from where base camp is, so it's not too far to carry it rather so I have cut it all up. Obviously there's going to be a lot more here than what I need for my fire pit, but that's not a bad thing. Because I've got other projects I have that I want to do, such as the wood stores. Hi. Clever girl. Are we done? chilling time let's do more work Right, so now I've cut up all the wood I'm going to need to finally make the fire pit. These three bits I cut up, they're a bit too rotten. I'm not going to use them.
Right, so as you can see, I'm putting stakes around the outside and I'm going to be putting stakes around the inside to support it because otherwise it's not going to stand up. That's not going anywhere now. Right, here we have it, guys. Our rustic fire pit. I'm quite happy with that. Obviously, the centre of it, I will be filling up a bit with dirt, just so it's raised up a little bit more. Some of the stakes, which are higher, I will be cutting them down as well, just to, just to neaten it up a bit. But yeah, I quite like it. It's been an exhausting day, but the job is finally done. Almost there. Sun's coming back out now. It's been a long day, but the fruits of my labor, a fire pit. So I'm gonna tidy it up a little bit. Any of the stakes I put in there, which are a bit longer, I'm gonna be cutting them off. But yeah, it's a bit too late today for me to do some lunch, what I wanted to do. And to be honest, I think I need to go home and have a shower. So I can't wait to show you this fire pit in action next time. Right guys, I'd like to thank you one more time ever so much for joining me, Ivy and Holly today as we made our fire pit for base camp. And I'd also like to give a big thank you to all of you that have subscribed already and given my videos thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're watching this video or watching me, I should say for the first time on my channel, hidden wood bushcraft please hit that like and subscribe button right well i'm gonna leave it there guys i need to go home have a shower freshen up and then next time i'm gonna be out here and we're gonna be cooking <laughs>